Hey guys, Cade Wilcox here with Primitive. Uh, at this point in the year, you are likely well, uh, well into your digital marketing strategy. You've got a good, good uh, strategy, you've got a good set of goals, and uh, very likely you're off to the races. And so in today's video, I wanna talk about the key components of things I think you should, uh, should consider in your digital marketing reporting. Um, first of all, by no means is this exhaustive. The things I'm gonna cover in this video, um, I think are kind of bare minimum, things that you know, at a minimum you need to include in your reporting. So keep that in mind. There may very well be other things that you want to measure and need to measure for your business. But at a minimum, here are a few things I think you should consider uh, for your reporting and in, in, uh, for your content marketing, your digital marketing in 2020. First of all would be your website traffic. There's all kinds of things that you can measure uh, with Google Analytics or other uh, measurement tools uh, related to your website traffic. But at a minimum, I would encourage you to measure sessions, users and new users and make sure you distinguish between those things um, uh, so that you can measure kind of what your website traffic is and uh, the, the traffic that you're getting. The second thing I would make sure related to your website data that to track is website sources. This is one of my favorite things to measure is where uh, are your audience coming from? Are they coming from organic traffic? Are they coming from direct? Are they coming from referral traffic? Are they coming from social media traffic? How, uh, how many people are coming from your email newsletters and your email marketing uh, from your email to, to uh, your website? And so measuring uh, the sources of traffic on your website is really critical. A third thing I think you have to consider is your lead data. So where uh, are your leads actually coming from? So in a similar way that you're measuring your website uh, traffic and where it's coming from, you also wanna do the same thing for your leads. This uh, sounds obvious, but it's really critical that you understand what components of your digital marketing strategy are the most effective in driving leads. Are your leads coming from social media? Are they coming from Google pay-per-click ads? Are they coming from organic website traffic as your traffic continues to climb? Are they coming from direct traffic? These are all things that you need to understand about where your leads are coming from. And uh, understanding that data is gonna help you double down in your strategy and ensure you're doing you know, more of the right things um, and the things that are working and either tweaking or not doing at all the things that are not yielding any results and generating any leads. Um, what, another thing you wanna measure is really your social media progress. This is fairly easy, um, but you know, social media marketing, uh, managing your social media, it's a lot of work. And so if you're gonna put in the effort to manage your social platforms, you want to identify what's working and what's not. Things like engagement, things like impressions, things uh, like click-through rates if, you, if you're including links, uh, things of that nature. One of the most obvious things is, is your audience growing? Uh, with the way that most social platforms work in terms of their organic algorithm. Um, if you're not spending digital ads, your traffic or your audience is not going to be growing. And so really identifying the rate uh, and progression of your audience growth uh, will give you a good indicator of your brand footprint. You know, how, how, how is it growing? How is your brand becoming more visible to those online? Now, the last thing that I would, uh, at a minimum, consider in your digital marketing reporting, um, and I mentioned it here a minute ago, would be your digital ads. Again, um, any business not doing some something uh, on some level with digital ads is very likely losing a significant, a significant opportunity to make an impact um, on your digital marketing. And so if you are investing in Google pay-per-click ads, Google display ads, any kind of social media platform ads, you wanna make sure you're measuring that and reporting on it. How much are you spending? Uh, what is the results of that spending? And all the metrics that come along with Google, uh, Google Analytics, Google pay-per-click, and uh, all of your social media ad platforms. So again, um, it's really critical as you invest in your content marketing, as you invest in your digital marketing strategy, that you're also reporting on that so you can identify what's working and what's not. And I hope this video helps you identify, at least at a bare minimum, things that you could consider including in your reporting. Mm -hmm.